Hi, welcome to our channel Shah Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn about a ZOR function and we will learn this ZOR function with different examples so that you can clearly understand how this ZOR function works and how to use this in our real life. So if you are new to our channel, I request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you can get regular updates and notifications when I upload new videos. So let's start the tutorial. So here we can see JOR function is a logical function type and its syntax is equal to JOR within first bracket. We have to put several logics. We can put more than one logic. So what does this JOR function returns as a result? If we have five logics within the bracket, then if odd number of logics returns true, then ZOR will return true. And if even number of logic returns true, then it will return false. And if all the logics are false, then it will return as false. So let's see it with example. So in example one, we can see here there are three numbers 5, 6 and 7. So if I put here equal to ZOR within bracket this cell comma this cell comma this cell. That means we are not giving a logic. We are just giving a cell reference to a number that means C10 equal to 5, D10 equal to 6 and E10 equal to 7. So as all these three are numbers and more than one, it will return true because there is three odd true. You can see here, we got true as a result. Then in the next cell, we will put equal to ZOR this cell comma this cell comma this cell. We can see here, there are two numbers that are greater than zero and one is zero. So it will be, so this is true, this is true and this one is false. So even number of true, then it will returns false. You can see here. And if I change 4 to 0, you can see there is odd number of true. So it returns true. And now we'll give a proper logic equal to ZOR this cell equal to 5 comma this cell equal to 6 comma and this cell that is e12 equal to 7 bracket close and enter you can see it returns true because all the three logics are true as there are odd number of true it returns true as a result if i change any number suppose i change it to 8 then this logic is true, this logic is true, but E12 equal to 7, this logic is not true. So we got 2 true, that means even number of true, that's why it is giving false. In the same way, if we type here with text, ZOR, this cell equal to RAM, comma, this cell equal to sham within quotation you must put the text within quotation comma this cell equal to rohit bracket close enter we can see here it is showing name error because we did not put a quotation with rohit so here put quotation now you can see it returns true because there are three logics and all the three are true. So we have odd number of true. So JOR is returning true. If I change here Rohit to Rahul, you can see it is returning false because two logics are true and one logic is false. That is even number of logics are true. So it is returning false. And now we will give all the logic as false. So equal to ZOR this cell equal to 1 comma this cell equal to 2 comma this cell equal to 3. 
so we can clearly see that all the logics are false so if all the logics are false then zor will return false as a result so in this way zor function works now we will understand this with real life examples here we have the second example that is there are four teams team a b c and d all the teams had played two games and team a won twice team b won one time and lost one time team c also won one time and lost one time and team d lost twice so with the help of zor function we will see which one is true and which one is false so here equal to this cell equal to own sorry we have to put the zor function zor d18 equal to own comma e18 equal to own bracket close enter we got false as a result and drag this down we can see this two are true because one logic is true and one logic is false so odd number of true that's why it's returning true and here this is false and this is true that's why one true and it is returning true and if both the logics are false that is why it is returning false now we will understand the example 3 here the question is use so here we can see check whether a team qualifies or not we have to use the zor function within if function so here we will use equal to if bracket open and select this two cell equal to own then if the and gives us the true result then it will return as final and next if is if zor within bracket this two cell equal to own then semi final else out of game bracket close for if and then enter we can see we got a error value we got the error value because here we have used the array for array formula so we have to press control plus shift plus enter so here you can see we got final as a result because here both the cells contain own you can see here if we select this and press f9 we can see all the logics are true so and will return true so as and will return true our value will be final that's why we can see here final and in case of this cells you can see here is only one own so for this case we have used zor function so one result will be true and another will be false that means odd number of true so in this case the result is coming as semi final and in this case all the logics are false that's why it is out of game so now we will see example 4 Here the question is check whether an employee qualifies for the full bonus or half bonus. If any employee exceeds ten thousand for both the products, that means if the sales of both the products is more than ten thousand, then he will get full bonus. If one product exceeds the ten thousand, then half bonus, else no bonus. So first we'll get the values for full bonus. So for that. we will use equal to if and this cell greater than 10000 comma this cell greater than 10000 bracket close comma 
yes that means it will get full bonus else no that means no full bonus bracket close enter we can see here we got yes that means this this employee ram will get the full bonus because he exceeds 10000 for both the product and if we drag down we see no for this three that means this three employee will not get the full bonus because here it is 9000 does not exist the 10000 but in product b it exceeds the 10000 so he will not get the full bonus in this case also for product a he exceeds the 10000 but in product b he cannot exceed the 10000 and rohit cannot exit for both the product that's why it is trading true now we'll return the half bonus so equal to if zor this cell greater than 10000 comma this cell greater than 10000 bracket close we know that there is a two logic and if one logic returns true then zor will return true that means if the person exceeds for one product then it will return true so in that case he will get half bonus so you can put here within quotation yes else no bracket close and enter so in this case he will not get the half bonus because we have already seen that he will get full bonus so he cannot get half bonus if we drag down we can see these two employee got the half bonus because in each of the case the exits the 10,000 limit and for Rohit he cannot exit 10,000 for both the product so he will not get half bonus so he will not get the full bonus and a half bonus so in this way you can use zor function in our real life so i hope you have understood this tutorial clearly if you have any question regarding this tutorial you can contact me in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get regular notifications Thanks for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next tutorial.